Sing it, we are, we are, we are, we are. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? Perhaps it's because my speeches haven't any clear structure. structure for an essay or speech in English. Although there are many different styles of writing and speaking in English, the basic structure is introduction, body, and conclusion. First, every good essay should start with an introduction. A good introduction has two parts, a hook and a preview. A hook is something interesting that catches the audience's attention. It can be anything from a witty joke to a shocking statistic. Once you have the audience's attention, it's time to give them a brief preview of what you're planning to talk about. But don't give too much detail yet. You want to make them curious so they will keep on reading your essay. Be sure to include a thesis statement. A thesis statement is kind of like a purpose statement for your essay. It tells your audience the main points you're trying to convey. The middle part of your essay is called the body. It is a number of paragraphs containing the main points in detail. This is where you will show your supporting evidence. Make sure that each paragraph focuses on only one main point and that each point clearly supports your thesis statement. Organize them so that each one can easily transition into the next point. Finally, your essay should have a conclusion at the end. The conclusion should briefly summarize all the main points from the body of your essay. The thesis statement should also be restated so that everything ties together nicely. And there you have it, the basic structure for any essay or speech. Start with an introduction, move on to the body, and wrap it up with a conclusion at the end. No matter what style you are using, chances are it has this basic structure. Watching over everything, over everything, watching 